I'd like to thank every single one of you for taking the time to tune in. But with no further ado, it's time to box. Tuesday is the day that we focus on punch logistics in the school of boxing. And what you're looking at now is Coach Colazar, who's out of Crazy Monkey, USA. It's focusing on executing a compilation of offensive drills. So you'll see the jab, the one, two. And then as we focus on offensive tactics, we stay defensively responsible. So our focus on technique is, is one thing, but being able to defend against what's coming upon you is simply another thing. So with no further ado, you're going to see a few tactics here and understand in the school of boxing, our agenda is not simply technique, but making sure you guard against what's coming. Take a look. Now, hopefully, when you're seeing these techniques, you must understand that it takes a lot more than simply looking at a video and doing it. So what we do in the School of Boxing is simply take the technique, reinforce all of the things, the hows, the wins, and the whys. We do each and every one of these techniques. So you're not only just learning boxing, from an offensive standpoint, you must understand when to unleash the fury and what's possible to come in return. Now, as you see the last drill, we also concentrate on cardiovascular because in the ring or in your journey, you must combat that monkey in front of you that's standing in your way. To get to the other side, you must push yourself. And so we go into a deeper volume of pushing yourself. So take a look at this condition and drill. And I hope that your takeaway is much more clear in why we do what we do. Let's see what it looks like. Round six is punch outs. Continuous punching while remaining defensively responsible. Round six complete. Now, as you have seen several of the drills that we go through daily, periodically, I hope you have a clear understanding how important it is to pay attention to detail, but at the same time, have a guideline. Don't just jump into a gym scenario. Have your plan, have a team to reinforce. And that's what we do best at the school of boxing is that we reinforce everything. So if you're learning, make sure that you take note. It takes a lot more than seeing a video. They're the things that matter most. There's your agendas, there's your accountability, and there's someone there to make sure that you're executing what's necessary. So I hope this segment was good for you. And if you're looking to get workouts as such, simply go into our store. You can click on this video and it'll take you right into the store and share some of the things that we do, the techniques, the video, the tutorials, and the guides that will help you along your journey. Until next time, Coach Eric Bradley signing out. And I hope you take the time, if you're over on YouTube, to subscribe if you like learning boxing and the process in which it takes. And be sure to subscribe to the website where you'll get functional training, structured training daily. That's the first step to taking your career and your business to the next level. Plan, purpose. See you next week. So long. Peace. Pow, pow.
thing that I've learned from the School of Boxing, and really the main reason why I went there in the first place, was to learn about the sport aspect of boxing, the ring craft, what goes into developing solid professionals and amateurs inside of the ring, the sport, and the breakdown in which the way they do it at the School of Boxing is, is, is wonderful. Uh, it's, it's given me everything that I've been looking for to really take my team to that next level, uh, starting from ground one, from all the way from beginners to experienced boxers. You can take them through the process, trust the process, and you will find that you're gonna go a long way because of the pedigree and the lineage and the tools that they provide you within the School of Boxing.